Hello YouTube, this is Atsy, and welcome to episode 34 of my Minecraft Let's Play. So, a little recap of what I've been doing. Um, I got to level 30, made another Fortune 2 Unbreaking 4 pick. Got a couple of those now. They're pretty good though. Uh, and as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of caving uh, with my Silk Touch pick. Let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. I just got back oops, from uh, being down there and haven't unloaded anything yet. So, go ahead and do that and get rid of some of the uh, spoils. See, I've hit a uh, mine shaft. Um, I think I have that cleared out. Um, it was just the spot um, very close to that house over there when I came up from a spawner. I ran into a corner of a house, uh, just went down that again, and explored through it, and I ended up circling back around like this way, and ran into the mine shaft that we had already explored back through there. So I think I've got all of it lit up. Um, there's still good many resources down there that I need to go get. Um, we'll s I'll save that for off-camera stuff. Um, I need to bore you guys with any of that. But we did get a good many resources, and... Um, I think while we're all here, I'll go ahead and see how much um, diamonds is for turn into. That was all the diamonds I found, and I didn't see any more. It is on diamond level. Um, don't want to smack you in the head, boy. But, um, ooh, a 10 out of 4. That was nice. And some good rates there. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Uh, let's go ahead and smelt up all of our iron. Just cut it in half there and cut that in half. And oh, I'm surprised I was able to get in there. Let's do the gold. Uh, let's put away this other stuff real quick. Um, I have laid out a little bit of the space. Uh, around our cobblestone plaza. I didn't find another spawner. That was one of the reasons why I went down there and I just want to get some things in my inventory. Let's see, it'll probably work. We can put this wood back. I always like to take um, wood with me when I go caving. It's the quickest way to make sticks, I think. Um, we can put the, this guy back too. Yeah, and let's jump on over there and um, show you what I did. Like I said, I just laid out the area. Um, I, s I made some potions too. Boop. Um, of where I want the house to be, and I laid out a rectangular house, which I don't like at all. Um, I changed all this out from, well, cleared it all out. I think it might have been cleared out. Changed it all out to uh, cobblestone just to match our little floor, and I have put around this cobblestone border. All this inside of here will eventually become. Uh, mossy except for our little diamond pattern around where the lights will go and these pumpkins are where the lights will be um, laid out this uh, this is the edge I think I ended up coming back one I think I might have had this is the edge but I moved it back one just so this would stay in line because I like the way this looked and that way it completes our patterns that we have set up with the lights um, so yeah I like this, this is where the mossy will end. This is will, will be the edge of the estate, which does line up with that. I know that overhangs a little bit, but, you know, oh well. We're not going to be sticklers, I guess. I like it ending here. I think that's an appropriate place to end it. Maybe two out more, but then the lights would have had to come out extended a little bit more. But this is a good spot. I'm fine with it. And the, the smaller we make it, the less mossy I'm going to need. I'm still going to need a ton of mossy to finish this, but... Uh, Anyway, that's what we're going to do, or that's where it will go. As far as this goes, I don't like it. I don't like it being another rectangle. This already edge is, is a rectangle, and I know in a corner I have it softened. That's got some good shape to it. This guy is just a big monstrosity of a rectangle, um, but I'm okay with it because it's got character with the two levels and the roof and the chimney style with the mob trap spawner. I, this, I'm fine with this being a big rectangle. 
Um, doesn't bother me to have just one big rectangle, but I don't want to have a second. So I think what we're going to do this episode, let me go get some birch wood. What we're going to do, catching some lag, is figure out how to work that guy. Should have got some uh, cobble, but we'll get some. So one thing, one thought I had was to maybe just keep it simple and do something like that. Um, that might work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if... Oops, didn't need to take that away. And see if I can um, still put some chests throughout here. Let's see here. That'll work too. It'll add some complexity to that corner. Let's see. It's not a rectangle, that's for sure. Can I put enough chest in here? I can put two there, a space, and then two. And I can wrap them around the edge. Two, space, two. That kind of works, huh? Well, that wasn't that hard. I was expecting this to be a pain in the butt. Let's just think that these are chests. Just for the sake of... Uh, argument. Yeah, that'll work on that side. And then perhaps on this side, like I said, just think these are chests. And I guess we'll do something else there. Um, I don't know what we could put there. Maybe that. I always like to put those in the floor, though, but uh, that might work, just so I have a filler there. Or it could be another storage chest and stack it. Um, how would I do the lights? I guess I could put lights in like, two or three tall this way, in between these gaps. That might work. And as far as the floor goes, um, I think I've been doing this pattern. I mean, we did it up there with the dark wood. We did it over here with uh, the oak wood. And we did it here with the oak wood. I think I want to try a different pattern for this. And I want to do it in dark wood. And then my thoughts are I'll change the floor pattern and these two rooms to keep it oak still but change the pattern to be whatever it is I decide to do down here and I think I have an idea um, you know what we need to do we need to go knock all that stuff out of there get our floor design down so let's work on some of that let's get our floor stuff I have some of this here. Um, don't need any. I guess I need a couple more of those. There's some chests. I know I have a bunch of chests over at the other uh, storage. I just hit over there. Um, let's see. Today is Thursday. I'm catching some lag. What the heck's going on here? Maybe my keyboard's acting up. Today is Thursday. Um, end of the month is coming up fast. Uh, it's amazing how quick these months roll by when you are busy. Um, and they just fly by. Yeah, I got 21 of them over here. It won't be enough completely, but uh, it'll be a start. Let's get some of these spruce saplings. I don't want to do this. Nah, let's bring them all. And some bone meal. Well, let's make some more bone meal. Alright. Okay. And yeah, let's go over there. Um, 
I haven't really been doing much. Uh, played in here a little bit. Did that little bit of caving, which was fun. I enjoy caving so much. I'm hearing a spider down there, and I can't find it yet. Um, I don't know where it's coming from. I'll find it eventually, but I haven't been able to find it yet. That needs to be sand. Come on with this mouse. Those need to be sand. I don't think it's my mouse. I think it's my keyboard. I'm not sure what's up. Let's see. I'm going to have to fix this real quick, guys. Hold tight. I will be right back. You probably won't blink an eye. Okay, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, changed the batteries in my mouse. It was acting weird. Oh, let's see. I need some sand. I'll just go ahead and steal it from here. Since all this will go away anyway. Where are you, sand? Um, yeah, let's clean up these corners. Make them look pretty. As I was saying, uh, today's Thursday. The month has flown by. Um, oh, I need one more. Um, which is okay. That means I'm busy. I like being busy. I'd rather be busy than not busy. I guess. Let's see. No, no additional lights there because of that. That looks pretty good, actually. I like that. Let's knock all these out. Oh, I probably should get these uh, trees going, huh? Let's do that. Um, what I was thinking floor to the floor is some kind of other parquet design, but maybe in like a, uh, I want to say it's called a wishbone pattern or a herringbone pattern. It wouldn't be wishbone. I guess it would be, would be herringbone. Um, as soon as we get a couple here, I'll show you what I'm after. But that was my thought. I definitely want to change it up from the uh, parquet style for what we have going now. Like I said, I'll change up that back to, uh, to whatever design we decide to choose here, or follow here. Man, this shovel. I love it, and then sometimes I hate it too. Because it... Uh, can be destructive. I guess you just gotta be careful. You know what, let's just plant these, and if they grow on their own, they do. Um, but that'll give us enough wood to start a little bit. I think. Yeah. So let's take all these down. I do need to turn those into cobble. And I'm a stickler for stuff like this, guys. And if you don't know, that has to be cobble because that is a uh, foundation. So, foundations must be made of something solid. I mean, they can't be sand, now, can they? That's not solid. No can't be. Your house would fall in. I mean, I know that the foundation is resting on sand, but anyway, that's enough. Alright, oh, went too far down. Need to whack these guys. Put that there. You there. I didn't get to you, but you there. Let's try not to be so destructive with this. Do it systematically, I guess. Yeah, we'll just get it out of the way and go back in and clean it up. Alright. Fill in the holes. Yeah, the weekend's coming up. Um, 
Sunday is my father-in-law's 50th birthday, so we're going to have a pate. It should be quite fun. Let's see, herringbone pattern. How should you look like that? And then something like that. Kind of looks similar to what I've already done, but maybe different. Oh yeah, that does something. That's, I think that's what I'm after. See what I'm saying here? It's the herringbone. It kind of like weaves in on itself. I think that's what I'm after. I'm run out of logs here. But yeah, I think that's what I'm after. I think I like that a lot. So, that's what we're going to do there. This will, of course, be the entrance. Um, if I had some stairs and half sides, I'll do that same design there for the doorway. And put all of our chests for storage around like this. Um, I don't have any windows on me, but I'll just make a hole so you can see what I'm thinking. For windows and the music's in the background. It's so lovely, isn't it? Isn't it? No, oh, that's just temporary. Something like that. Maybe up another level. Yeah, probably up another level. Get some more height to it. I'm not saying we'll use all that height, but I don't want this dinky little structure to be down here. Not when it's, you know, it's going to be got to compare to these guys. I mean, that's way up high. That guy's huge. This guy's even huger. And he's still yet to double in size. So, I'll probably end up making that taller yet still. Or else the scale's just not going to be right. Yeah, that needs to go up higher. A few more. Perhaps we'll even make this multi-level. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I guess we could make it multi-level. So, I'm going to work on that a bit. Um, I'll get this floor completed uh, in this pattern. I'll probably change out that one uh, when I got some time. It's not a necessity, but I'll, I'll definitely change it out to match, to be this design. I like this. I like it a lot. Herringbone, I think is what this is called. So, I'll have to look it up. Maybe that becomes the title of our video. Herringbone floor. But uh, anyway, I will continue to work on this, and hopefully next episode I'll have some more progress made and possibly even completed. Maybe we'll be putting a roof on or something. I always like to put the roofs on with you guys. Uh, so, yeah, please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye, YouTube.